Good evening, Carolina Crown, and congratulations on your placement here in the finals of the Drum Corner National World Championships. Saturday, August 12, 2017, Indianapolis, Indiana, Jeff Prospery here from West Point, New York, where I perform with the West Point Band as the principal drummer of the Hellcats at your Army's United States Military Academy. This evening, I'll be evaluating your ensemble on music percussion on the field. Really looking forward to it. Have a great show, and I'll be here every step of the way to recognize and reward content and achievement. All right, I recognize the compositional fugal elements up front and the variances of touch that I've observed from you guys in the past. Um, I'm letting the upstairs percussion guy catch all this so that I can catch the battery out here in the field. So it's a choice, but certainly understand the compositional value of what's being offered up front. Eight notes in the tenor voice. Yeah, check it out, that, that, check it out, that, that. Fugal elements written into the battery parts. Beautiful clarity snares. Clean, strong, mature, solid, appropriately written. Yeah, barrels in the singles, building eighth notes, fluctuating eighth notes, metric shifts in the flams. Appreciated. Wonderful writing. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful lilt. Zzz, better than off the space of the press. Excellent metric change up, especially in the bass drums. Yeah, it's just so well written, it fits like a glove. Let's get out of there for a moment. Yeah, it's just so um, idiomatically well written that it fits the melodic material, the lilt and the style and the space and the textures. Yeah, way to dig in on the high end roll. Thank you, bass drums. Wonderful. Gonna come up front and catch the ensemble. Everything's appropriate and um, mature. All right, catch the ensemble up here. Descending passage in the two mallet grip. Thank you, metals. Tonal shift to the marimba, space drums. Yeah, clean. Digga, 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 Good strength on independent strokes, two and three. Xylophone, wonderful. Especially with the gloss, glissando at the end. Thank you. What's impressive is the ears, the back to front ears, okay? Paradiddles. Text up with paradiddle diddles. Yeah. Consistent, clean. Good ensemble back to front. The pit in the um, very quick look they were playing was lining up perfectly with the snares and the tenors. Color shifts, impressive, into the metal, steel drum, brake drum. Excellent. 
Excellent job, Kempany. Big ears. The way to boom, 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 beam, boom. Lining up the motor rhythmic motion in the battery and harmonically layering that with the timpani was impressive. All right, very contrasting touch here and sonority. Performers were able to draw. Beautiful sonority. Just doing a lot of listening. This is supportive and it maintains just enough compositional interest to not overshadow the vocal line. Yeah, Tiffany, way to build that. Beautiful descending pattern and then the bass drum complemented the resolution well. Appreciate the swell and the timpani. Yeah, dark and lush. Boom, boom, boom. Lateral roll. Echoing. Vibraphone. All right. It's all appropriate. All right, now some compositional interest. Yeah, appreciate the... Yeah, good. All right, a little more variety. Appreciated that time as we build up to this moment. Yeah, backfield, the, um, the appropriateness of this, almost a Broadway-type groove, we'll call it, provides just enough groove to um, keep the integrity of music without you know, getting in the way or getting hokey. It's a delicate line. And um, you've walked it very well. Yeah, angelic, sweet, weight on the blocking of the chordal moment and then the roll after very professionally done. Yeah, rhythmic interest in the arpeggiated resolution. Now the harmonic twisting, transitional material into the color. Yes, Rotali. Yeah, very cool metallic idea with the steel drum. Um, inherent, inherent in the original somewhat. The bottom bass drone, so cool. Who would have imagined this quarter notes on a bass drum? Compositionally, would be the coolest thing. Way to hold on to the left hands on consecutive notes. Open up the roll. A little bit cluttered in quality. Okay. Dubagadoo, Dubagadoo, over the ball line, phrasing. Yeah, chaka, chaka. Beautiful entrance, well executed. Well executed here. You're executing very well. Cold attack, eighth notes, diminution, metric, a cello rondo. Environmental change-ups. Yeah, seamless. Really, really well done. Bravo. That was exceptional. Yeah, bass drums. Wow. The air, the space between those notes. It's crisp. Really enjoying the voicings in the bass drums.
Yeah, your ability to use space and metric expansions to create a resolution is um, refreshing. Interesting colors. The simultaneous responsibility of this cat over here playing trumpet and playing a riff on the bells. Now the layering with the um, cymbals and tenors, bass drums. Really enjoying what you've done to the um, source material. Beautiful, clean. You guys are clean. Watch a little. The three of towards the end of that phrase got a little wide, but not much. Excellent body layering. You guys are clean, clean. Keep it up. I'm enjoying the clarity. Yeah, the impacts. Yeah, bass drum. Bass drums, go! Yeah, tenors are mature. Watch that after that accident, some inner beat clutter, okay? Gotta hang out with the basses a little bit. Woo! Bassers, solid. Yeah, yeah, the slight massage and the manipulation of pulse is exceptional. Guys are clean, man. A clean drum line. Very clean drum line. All right, I got some goosebumps. All right, goosebumps. Clean drum line. Well polished. Mature quality of sound. All right. Um, yeah, I think you lived up to what the book allows you to do. So you should be proud of yourselves as performers in elevating the book and uh, making it reach its full potential. I think the potential of the book at times, um, it was appropriate, as I noted on the recording, and the use of open metric diminution, expansion, a cello rondo, your, your fluidity of, of metric shifts, and then the fluidity and, and manipulation of pulses of the expressive vehicle was something um, special. I think at times um, the vocabulary became a little bit redundant backfield, and the... Um, the appropriateness of what you were doing didn't always allow you to, you know, flex the compositional depth of, of creativity and intrigue at times, okay? I know you needed to support the vocal line, the singer, um, and then you did that very well. Then there came time for your um, compositional moment. And it was, um, it was well done, but just continue to strive for that final level of um, vocabulary and the programmatic choices that you make to allow the percussion section to have more variety compositionally um, at times. So I don't want to make that a negative. I just, I'm just telling you what I'm weighing here. But I, I will not deny, and I want to applaud you and compliment you on how mature and how clean that percussion section is. It is the most mature and cleanest crown percussion section yeah, I've ever adjudicated. So thank you.